Welcome! This is a guide to Neovisions in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Neovisions are units that possess new abilities not yet seen in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. In this video, we'll be introducing these Neovision units. There are two types of Neovision units, Neovisions and units that can be awakened to NV. Neovisions can be obtained by summoning a red crystal. Meanwhile, certain 7-star units can become Neovisions through a process known as NV Awakenings. For a unit to be awakened to Neovision status, first it must fulfill a set of requirements. First, it must already be awakened to 7 stars. Second, its level must be maxed to 120. Third, that unit's Super Trust Master reward must already be obtained. 7-star units that fulfill these requirements can undergo NV Awakenings by using their corresponding unit fragments and an item known as an Ascension Pearl. Many more units that can be awakened to Neovision status will be added as we move forward. Next, let's talk about some characteristics that are unique to Neovision units. The following Neovision unit specs are inclusive of units that can be awakened to NV status. Neovision units have four new characteristics. They are Brave Shift, Brave Abilities, Vision Cards, and EX Awakenings. First, let's begin by talking about Brave Shift. Brave Shift is a Neovision unit's ability to change forms during battle. With Brave Shift, a unit's look, stats, and usable abilities change. Let's take the Neovision unit Cloud, Final Fantasy VII Remake, as an example. Before his Brave Shift, he has the characteristics of a true double hand, single target finisher. But after his Brave Shift, he changes to a unit more geared towards increasing damage against Machina types, imbuing the lightning element, and dealing damage to all enemies. To go along with the change in attack patterns that Neovision units undergo, you can also equip the units differently for before and after their Brave Shift. Of course, you're also welcome to have the same equipment set up for both forms. For example, for Cloud, Final Fantasy VII Remake, you can Brave Shift whenever you like during a single turn. However, each unit differs in how many turns it takes until Brave Shift can be activated, how many turns it stays in effect, and how long its cooldown period is. Second, let's talk about Brave Abilities. Brave abilities are special abilities possessed by Neovision units. These abilities are powerful even at level 1, but by using enhancement materials like Fortisight and Brave Insignia, you can enhance them even more to a maximum level of 5. Later, we'll introduce how you can obtain these enhancement materials. Third, let's talk about Vision Cards. Vision Cards can be obtained in the following ways. First, one random vision card can be obtained when a Neovision unit is summoned. However, said vision card will not be the one assigned to that specific NV unit. Or second, you can obtain one copy of that NV unit's assigned vision card by awakening that NV unit to EX plus 1, and again when awakening it to EX plus 3. Additionally, vision cards can be enhanced by fusing them with other vision cards. Enhancing a vision card will increase that card's base parameters and unlock new abilities. Lastly, let's talk about EX Awakenings. EX Awakenings are a type of awakening available for Neovision units that have three stages of awakening in total. EX Awakenings enable you to enhance an NV unit's parameters, unlock the usage of that unit's Brave Shift, as well as obtain that unit's assigned vision card. However, please note that the benefits that you can receive at each stage differ between Neovision units and the units that can be awakened to NV. Let's break down EX Awakenings by each stage to talk about the awakening materials needed, along with the changes that come with each step. First, an EX plus 1 awakening for both Neovision base units and units awakened to NV is accompanied by an increase in the unit's base parameters and the ability to use Brave Shift. For a base Neovision unit, an EX plus 1 awakening also allows it to receive its assigned vision card and three copies of the Metal Gigantoirs Here enhancement vision card. For a base Neovision unit, 
An EX plus 2 Awakening grants its specific Super Trust Moogle 100%, 5 copies of the Metal Gigantoirs Here Enhancement Vision Card, and a 1 tenth NV Summon Ticket. For a base Neo Vision unit, an EX plus 3 Awakening grants a copy of its assigned Vision Card and 7 copies of the Metal Gigantoirs Here Enhancement Vision Card. Before we wrap things up, let's talk about the Awakening materials necessary for EX Awakenings and the Enhancement materials necessary for enhancing Brave Abilities and Vision Cards. A unit's corresponding fragments, ascension pearls, and transcension pearls are necessary to perform EX awakenings and NV awakenings, can be obtained and through fragment conversions. The brave insignia needed to enhance brave abilities can be obtained through places such as in the event quest challenge of the brave. The challenge of the brave is planned to run every one to two months. The Vision Card, Metal Gigantoirs Here, which is used for enhancing Vision Cards, can be obtained through EX Awakenings and various other methods. NeoVision units are completely different from anything thus far, both in concept and abilities. They can be built up and enhanced in a variety of ways to expand the breadth of your strategic options. Obtain NeoVision units to enjoy the world of FFBE even more.